you think of them as in this like static, fully formed version. Right. You don't usually get to see, and especially someone like you, who you went into so much depth about your rise and fall and rise and fall. It wasn't like a straight linear process no. between you getting inspired and then you becoming this bad motherfucker. No, it wasn't like, um, what's that show called? Um, that, that Will Smith plays, that, that black guy who kind of makes it in, um, in the financial world. Uh, Pursuit of Happiness. I never saw that. Yeah, it's a great movie. It wasn't like Pursuit of Happiness, man. Like, <laughs> like with a guy struggles and he and he gets over it and he makes it. Yeah. I fell on my ass. I, I thought I got the top of Mount Everest, and Mount Everest just fucking slide right underneath me, man. I was like, God, dog, I start from scratch again. Scratch became my friend, literally, man. So, you know, that's that's how you put in the book, man. Just going up, going down, going up. Just a real raw version of how my life was in the. It was so in depth to go back through your life with a fine tooth comb that I almost got embarrassed to even put it out there to people. Yeah. That's what we don't understand, man. Like, even me right now to talk to you, I'm in the car for a fucking hour getting pumped up because I'm I'm a shy, introverted, leave me alone type of guy. Like, I'm still that motherfucker who is six years old, you know, at a play who can't say his line because I know I'm gonna stutter in front of five people. So I walk off the stage. That's still me. So every day I'm fighting that dude. So people think, oh my God, man, you're on a podcast. You look so crazy, so evil. No, I'm trying to be locked into Joe.